Greetings and welcome back dear students. Today we are about to begin personal letters called as informal letters in the chapter 2C. This is one of the important and the compulsory question in English grammar. So we should learn in detail about it because the question can be asked for 10 marks so first of all you should have good introduction about the personal letters then it's a layout and structure after that we will be discussing about the marking scheme and how we should compose the best personal letter before going in detail, here you can take a look at generally there are two types of letters. These are first formal and second informal. Formal are called as generally the business letters and informal are the personal letters. So today we are going to deal with the second that is informal letters in detail. Let's try to understand the concept in a clear way and try to do accordingly which will help you to make the letters in a very perfect way before we move further you should have a little bit idea about what is personal letter or informal letters now personal letters or any type of letter you can check they have some good communications or contact with the persons to whom we send it then what is the purpose of writing these letters and what effect it has on to the persons first of all it is the better means of communications in all other communications today we have the very fastest means of communication just like telephone emails even though the personal letters had a great impact because personal letters are or the letters are permanent you can refer it anytime whenever you want it to read and when you read the letters again and again according to the convenience of time it can refresh your memory anytime means the letter which has written long back in 1960s if you read it in 2000 at least you can refresh the memory regarding that person and really personal letter has some personal touch the personal touch in case of having handwritten helps to foster a cordial relationship with the person so we can have a good connection and relationship with the persons and these are some of the good factors we have over other communications of letters so letters we need to compose in a better and a proper way let's try to understand here how we can try to write the personal letters introduction of the personal letters when we write the personal letters we can say these are called as informal letters and personal in the sense related to the persons which are very close to us so to whom we can write the personal letters so personal letters are generally written to our relatives so it can be mother father brother sister uncle we can write to our friends the letters written to our colleagues who are working with us or some acquaintances in the sense to whom we know about so these are some of the common people to whom we write down the personal letters when we write the personal letters as the persons are known to us here we can use a simple informal style so writing style should be simple and it should be informal one because both are familiar to each other then when we write the personal letters what type of subjects it covers the subjects mainly are there first invitation then we can have request then we have apology that is to say sorry then congratulations to everyone on any cases just like brother has won the first rank okay postponement some ceremonies some programs some work you wanted to postpone for that we can have 
personal letters inquiry about something sympathy especially something uh, someone is uh, dead in the family of your friend and you wanted to give some condolences so we can have the sympathy letters thanksgiving if someone has helped you and conveying news so these are some of the common subjects we can deal with in personal letters now after learning what is the introductions and what are the importance of the personal letters now we shall deal about what is the layout and the structure that icc has laid about of writing personal letters and that is for 10 marks how we can try to write in a better way so you need to follow this structure and understand how the mark divisions have been given here so first when we write down letter you should follow this format and structure so first one writers or the sender's address that will be for five mark sorry half mark date half mark greetings or salutations half mark then comes body of the letter body of the letter should combine three to four paragraphs in that first we have the opening sentence then we have the content that's the body of the letter according to the topic and then we have concluding sentence and here this all body part will give you 2.5 mark then comes the end of the letter where we have the subscription or leave taking note plus the name of the sender that will be for one mark and totally if you just count we can have five marks and five marks are based on the expressions now expressions means how you use your style of writing what are the grammatical sentences what are the vocabulary we use how we express our sentences according to the content for that we will have five marks so icc focus on the expressions rather than or merely writing the body of the letter and that should be thoroughly understood so do not consider that if your body is a perfect you will get the good marks in that you should have the proper idea of expression of letter by using the different logics now we shall study in detail about how to form the layout in a detail means while writing this format and the structures in the letter writing how we should deal with so first one here we have sender's address where we should write the sender's address this is the fixed format that has icc released to be followed in writing letters so we should try to follow the same and the same has been given in the textbook also you can refer it accordingly so try to follow it and you need to follow the same every time when you deal with the personal letter here at the top left hand corner you should write down the sender's address here when you just add the sender's address don't add the sender's name it should not be added any name especially of sender's without indentation without indentation in the sense without punctuation marks better we can do it with punctuation also acceptable but we should not skip any punctuation marks so better avoid using punctuation marks okay so we can go with that without any punctuation marks and when you write the sentence address it should be in 3 to 4 lines only should not be very lengthy should not be very short let's take a look at an example 25 national park lajpat nagar new delhi 110024 without any punctuation mark this is what you should try to consider or write in the sender's address then comes the date below of the sender's address we can have the sender's address below we can have date how the date should be written let's consider here the format of date the date should be written in such a way first we'll have the date then month of uh, name of month and then the year so this format is only one format we can apply do not try to go for any other format that the icc not accept so you should follow only this type of format you can just refer your textbook to 25th april comma 2021 this format should be fixed one for i greetings or called as salutation so salutation should be written left hand corner and that should be below the date now greetings or salutation means it's a line itself followed by a comma means you should not write anything in that line only the salutation should be written and we should use comma after that so here are some of the alternatives 
given according to the content and according to the person you are referring to in the letter we can try to use some of the greetings examples are dear mother my dear mommy or dear son so if you write to your mother father then we can write like that if you write to your friend or brother we can try to write like that so we can try to follow this type of greetings only dear and then name of the person or relatives just like uncle mother father like that we can try to write down the greetings next comes the important part that is a body of the letter how we should try to compose the body of the letter in the beginning we have the opening sentence and opening sentence responds to the earlier communications suppose you had written earlier before that letter to that letter reference we can write down the opening sentence or we can directly writing uh, write about the reference to the given subject of the letter so choice according to the topic of the letter we should decide and here are some opening sentences that could help you in writing the best topic or set opening sentence for your subject example i was delighted to hear of your success this is when you are congratulating someone second i am very sorry to tell you suppose you wanted to postpone something and third we were all shocked to hear if you hear some bad news and you wanted to condole someone then we can use this type of opening sentence so opening sentences are not the same everywhere you should refer like that according to the topic of the sentence few more are given in the textbook you can refer that to next add appropriate subject matter when you finish your opening sentence you should add the appropriate subject matter and that should be in 3 to 4 parts 3 to 4 parts or the paragraphs after finishing that we can have the concluding sentence that is a must concluding sentence we can have that should be connected with the topic here we can just convey the love or we can just give the respect to the family members or we can have some friendly impressions according to the topic so here are some suggestions for you try to use that it will help you a lot in order to end the body of the letter in a proper way example give my regards to your parents i am looking forward to your visit or i look forward to hearing from you soon these are some of the concluding sentence according to topic we can use to express our relations then comes the last part of the personal letter that is called a subscription or leave taking and this comes for the one mark how we can try to compose it here it should be polite one other than that do not try to use any other part in this subscription after writing the subscriptions we have to use only first name of the sender you should not add anything there you should use only the first name of the sender and use only one of the given suggestions accordingly you can use any one subscriptions given below here we can have first yours lovingly yours affectionately or yours loving son so here after finishing that we can have only the name of the sender and that's what the end of your subscription or leave taking so this is how we can try to compose in a detailed way with the structure for 10 marks the personal letters I hope you understood that what is the structure of that. In the next session, we will be giving the total format plus a solved example of personal letter with a marking scheme so you can understand in a better way. Hope this explanations has given you a good idea and you will never miss out to write the personal letters in such a way. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon in the next video with the detail of the personal letters. Do take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.